So good morning, welcome to Garage Garage! So we're making a car bed that's actually drivable. We have an old plastic car bed and an old shifter car and we're gonna make the two together, make them drive. If you haven't followed along, what we've done is we've stiffened up the old plastic car bed, joined everything together so it won't fall apart. We've taken an old shifter cart, extended the frame, strengthened it up, put a new steering on, so everything's been raised up, new pedal box, and that kind of leads us to where we are right now. Step one today on the shred bed, we're going to finish up the pedal setup. Then from there, we're going to add a battery and get everything powered up because we are going to want to use a button start rather than, you know, jump start or push start or any of that. And then we'll run the fuel cell and fuel lines. After that, we're going to tighten everything up and actually test it. Try and drive it around as it sits without the plastic spot on it. We want to see if we have any issues, which we most likely will. We have a lot to do, so let's get started. First thing we got to do, these were threaded and I ground the threads off of them so that it would fit inside of this 3 8 tube. And this is kind of going to be our linkage for the gas pedal and the brake pedal. And I just wanted something a little bit tougher than what was on there before. I'm going to pull all this old stuff off. I'm going to remake these. Um, you can tell here that I didn't preload that correctly, so it doesn't stop. I could cut more of this out, but we're going to have a foam mattress under this as well, so I want this to be starting to break about right there. When you're hitting the pedal, I want it to start slowing down. And then I'm going to do the same with the gas pedal. So up top, it should be pretty touchy. That's what we're shooting for today as far as getting that done. Then we'll move on to the battery. For right now, I'm going to start measuring this up and make sure everything works and works well. Length, everything's correct. Uh, now I just need to replicate that for the gas pedal. Basically I have two pedals set up for gas and brake and they both have the same exact setup. The brake's a little bit tighter than the throttle cable, but I think the throttle cable just needs to be tightened up a little bit too. You got one bolt here that stays stationary and then you have this lever right here pushing down on that to pull this one out. The same for the brake. When we're done done with this, I'm going to Loctite everything and maybe even score it with a screwdriver so nothing comes apart. But it should be pretty stout. When I tried it before, down here, it was hitting this. And that's actually how it was when we got it too. That's what I was saying before, like if you turn like that, it would sometimes catch that cable. And that's the one I drove before, when I turned it went And it was really scary because I wanted to turn and slow down, but I ended up hitting the gas. So definitely eliminate that problem. So it needs a strong spring here as well to pull this back so the throttle won't get stuck open. If you want this to still rotate and kind of remain kind of loose, which I do, because I don't, I don't want to jam this, go like that, and then go the opposite direction. So now that's, those are tight on there, but they move together, and this can still move. The steering's good, pedals are good, those were my main concerns, so the rest of it's just going to be fun. Come back tomorrow, finish up everything. Good morning, back at it on the shred bed. Last night I kind of figured out a few things getting the pedal to return. So I added this spring. I added one to the brake as well. But for the gas pedal, I'm gonna add another spring just as a backup because if this gets stuck down, we're gonna have a major issue. And this thing's gonna be ridiculously fast, or at least we hope so. For our test purposes, what we need to do is get a battery in it and also a fuel cell. I robbed the fuel cell from 
the other cart that we had up there and a few other little parts so we can add some more springs. When we're done with that, I'm gonna have to add a seat because we don't wanna fall off of this. So the seat will be the last thing we do today and then we're ready to test it and see if we have any issues. So get started. All right, so quick update. Uh, made a little fuel mount here. So the fuel cell mounts right there. I'm gonna extend some lines, maybe get some new lines. That stuff's kind of old. We're um, cleaning out the tank right now because it had some really old fuel in it that was mixed with oil and then created a horrible residue that we don't want to clog up the jets since we just cleaned everything out. And then I made a little more clearance here and then just add another spring right there so you can see that now this just springs back so it won't come open. And yeah, we're just gonna let that soak in fuel for a little bit and then get a new battery. We'll make a battery mount right around here. Then I will mount the engine um, with these engine mounts here, space it out, tension the chain properly, and we'll work from there. We'll do a seat. And then we should be ready to test. Maybe just a, a couple of exhaust mounts as well. But we'll be ready to test and see if anything goes wrong. Feel great. Oh yeah, and we got the kill switch and starter. Take me through this design. All it is, is there's two supports, just right here and here. And I put it a little bit lower than it normally says factory, just because I want to keep it away from the wood and everything here. And then I'll have to make some kind of turnout eventually when we put the plastic part on it. I'm probably gonna end up cutting out a lot of the back portion of that. Kind of how this is right now, where that's sitting. That's why I only tack all of this, so I can knock this off and extend it, so it'll actually end up sitting like about here and all of this will be removed. But now I need to make a seat or some kind of backrest because this is, it would be so hard to drive like this. You should just be holding on to the steering wheel which wouldn't be good. Good morning. I got here a little bit early. Started cleaning out the old fuel cell because it was full of old sediment and gross stuff. If that gets in the carbs, we're screwed. Don't want to have any issues because we, we don't have much time to test this. But I started last night uh, making a seat. So I just glued these on and it'll be something like that. It gives a little lean to it. But I, I cut out a, a, a few L brackets this morning like this here. We'll drill some holes through there and then uh, be able to put the seat in. We'll make a couple different locations so you can move the seat, you know, unbolt it and the whole thing should go together. Then uh, all we really have left is a battery and then time to test it. So I'm gonna get cracking on this. I got uh, Jose, he's gonna help me out for a little bit because he's free today. So we're gonna try and get this baby going and hopefully everything works and we don't have any issues. But if we do, we'll learn from our mistakes and have it all done before we get to the track. We're getting close. Yeah, this is not what you want to use, but this is all we had. So, look at this cute little battery. It's powerful. Interstate saved us on that one. We didn't have a battery. We were gonna have to use a car battery, so they ran by with a small battery from 
Like an ATV or a motorcycle. That's what I asked for. Should work. I want to see if I can get it to fire real quick before we leave. We need more room to test it, so we head over to our friends at Raceline. They're excited to see it. They're like, oh, you guys should come over here and test it. So we're going to go over there and test it. Something gonna happen. She runs, we're good. Let's go somewhere where we can light this baby up. This is gonna be amazing. What's, What's up, guys? guys? You ready to rip? Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're there. So we've arrived at Raceline. These guys were nice enough to let us use their lot. Also, they wanted to just see this. because Yeah, it's... they want to see the schedule. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to try and uh, fire her up. We did learn a few things. Just gonna have to get the carb kind of tuned up and, and figure out what's going on with it. It's just, uh, it was dumping too much fuel, but it does handle well. Everything feels good, the brakes work, the throttle cable, everything works. And uh, I'm pretty excited with how it feels. Like, it handles real well. It doesn't feel like you're gonna flip over. I felt like I could do donuts if I wanted to. But once it gets piped, it will spin and do donuts. It's gonna be crazy. But I feel like we're missing about 7,000 RPMs. And uh, we also ran out of fuel. We didn't have much, and it was actually the wrong mixture. So there's a lot of things playing against us today, but we only had today to do this. We learned a lot today, so that's good. We can we can tune everything, fine tune it before we get out to the track. Gotta thank uh, Raceline for giving this this awesome facility to play around with because it's a lot bigger than what we have. But I do want to come back here sometime. But I think we're just gonna go screw around inside their shop and check out all their all their wheels because I've never been here. Pretty rad. I'm excited. Joey's excited. Kyle's not. I'm excited. Oh, Kyle's excited. I'm fired up. You need some lettuce for a wrap? Yeah. Oh yeah, those stop. <laughs> <laughs> 